Right. Yeah, should, we have, if we take the C-sharp should be, classes, should be very like, similar. It's very similar, yeah. Here's a twist, though. Here's a twist. We're working, we're bilingual here, all right? We're working in PHP and HTML. So guess what? These statements that I'm going to do if the condition are true, they can be HTML statements, too. Right. So maybe if this condition is true, If dollar sign browser equals, and there's two equal signs there. You always use two equal signs if you're comparing two things. If browser equals not mobile, what do I have? I have the statement I want to do. If the condition is true, but what do I want to do if the condition is true? I want to display an image tag. All right. So if I were to do this, image src equals something, href equal or um, alt equals. Well, that's in the middle of a PHP block. The web server is going to think that that's a block of PHP code. All right? And it's going to try to execute that. Well, this ain't PHP, so nothing good's going to happen. It's going to blow up. Right? In fact, let's show that. Let's blow it up. Let's blow it up. Following the Beavis and Butthead advice of if it's not broke, break it. All right, so let's save it. Let me copy it into here. And now let's request it in the browser. Boom. All right. And it doesn't give me too much useful information. In a nutshell, it's telling me, hey, uh, server don't know what to do with that. Why? Because my web server tried to execute this piece of code, which is not PHP. It's HTML. And therefore, since I told it I was in PHP land, it tried to do this as, an, as a PHP statement, but it's not. It's HTML. Well, what's the way around that? The way around that is to say... Well, I want to, if this is true, I want to do this little snippet of HTML. All right. Well, in order to do the snippet of HTML, I have to get out of PHP land. So I have to boom, boom. But then, and again, this is kind of looks odd, but I have to go back into PHP land just to end it and say, hey, that's the end of this if statement. Because I could put a bunch of HTML there, right? I could put five different images there. So I need to be able to say, hey, if the browser's not mobile, I want to do this block of code. Well, this block of code isn't PHP, it's HTML. So therefore, I put all the HTML code I want to between there and there. Then I have to go back and match this with this. This is both like the power and the scary part of PHP, all right? The fact is, is that you have so much flexibility of sticking PHP code anywhere you want. Getting back to your question originally about like, well, could you use PHP to generate CSS? Yeah, you could have a bunch of if statements inside a CSS uh, block of code that would test parameters and set things and do all that. That would be, though, likely a nightmare to try to test and, and, and develop that way. All right? So what I can do here is I can say, hey, if it's not mobile, do this. If it is mobile, or, or yeah, if it's not mobile, do this. If it is mobile, well, there's no else with this if statement, so I don't really do anything else. Yeah. So 
your CSS rules still apply, even though it's in PHP for like Section 90 Part 1, if you have something specifically uh, that, that, that won't affect it at all? That's right. Okay. Why? Because who does CSS? The browser does. Oh, right. By the time this gets to the browser, what is it? It's HTML. It's HTML. Oh, that's so, yeah, that's in fact, I could actually do this instead of media queries. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. That's kind of what I was thinking. So I could go up here and say, actually, I want to do this CSS regardless. I could do, if it's not mobile, do the desktop CSS. maybe even change some of these style sheets. I could go here and I don't have to hide that image anymore because I ain't even sending an image in that section. CSS to say hide the images because I ain't even sending the image there. And it still should work the same. You think they could assume that as a professor I'm not going to bully people and download illegal stuff during my lectures and save me from having to click through that every single time I open up a browser. Just what is your reputation on campus, Mike? I don't know. Yeah, right. Like I'm going to do that and I'm going to record it and put it on YouTube. You know? Unfortunately, we can't get a view source here. But what we could do is we could do things. We could do things like this.
So, with a series of if statements like this, anywhere on the page that I want to make dynamic and I want it to have different content on mobile versus the full version, I can just have a, a if statements that look like this. If this is true, I'm going to pop out of, of uh, PHP and have a chunk of HTML code that I want if it's the full version. Otherwise, I can have a different set of code for the mobile version. Um, one thing you, that, that, that your next assignment is to redo one of your assignments, I forget which one, using um, this technique. The one thing I want you to do is, regardless if you did it on your original assignment or not, I want your mobile versus your desktop version to have some different content. So like hide an image, hide some images, hide some text, whatever. Well, not, don't hide it, but prevent it from going to the mobile. All right. So now if we look at this again. Oh, I got to copy it over. I think. That's the full version. This is the mobile version. So I don't expect you to be an expert in PHP. For now, if you understand two things. The one thing is what this chunk of code does. which is it does testing and sets a variable to indicate whether it's a mobile browser or not. And then get familiar with doing if statements like this. Probably the trickiest part for people first starting out is keeping track of this stuff. And remember this sort of thing, that that's the way the if statements work. They need to look like that. But if this is going to be HTML, you need to get out of HTML or PHP uh, and then back into it to finish out the rest of the statement. I will post this example uh, to Angel, and, uh, and that's it.